I'm Rachel Paston, and I live at 509 Rutgers Avenue. Um, so Swarthmore has seen a lot of changes in the 21 years I've lived here, and I think most of them have been positive. I love a lot of the new shops and restaurants, and I think development, especially downtown, is a good thing. Uh, as Bill Cumbie outlined, a lot of entities and people in town have worked hard to create more vibrancy downtown. The development being considered tonight is presented as one more step in the ongoing creation of that vibrancy, and maybe it is. But at the same time, despite what's been said tonight about there being a lot of affordable places to live in town, I've watched housing prices rise fast. I've watched the mix of teachers and lawyers, librarians, college professors, financial professionals become more homogenous, tilting more and more towards affluence. I've had friends who are renters move out of town and others who wanted to move here give up because of the high prices. So Swarthmore is not alone in this problem. It's happening all over the country. Different municipalities are addressing it different ways. And as we consider plans, these plans for new high-end condos in Swarthmore, I'd like to see us also find ways appropriate to our town and its history and values to encourage more reasonably priced housing for senior citizens, for young families, for single people and others. I may be one of the few people in this room who's read the zoning code all the way through. Um, it's not always scintillating reading, but it has its moments. Um, and according to clause 1240.0, one goal of the code is to have the population consist of a stimulating mix of peoples from all economic, social, and educational backgrounds, and of all ages, races, and creeds. And I do wanna say one quick thing here about the code's mention of race. We know that the wealth gap between whites and blacks in America is substantial. We know too that our borough's historically black neighborhood has seen a rapid transformation in recent years. As older generations pass, younger family members can't afford to hang on to homes, they can't afford to move back to town after living elsewhere. Creating more reasonably priced housing in Swarthmore is, among other things, a way of seeking to be welcoming to a diversity of people throughout our town and also perhaps not losing the last remnants of what was, since the early 1900s, a vibrant black neighborhood on and around Bowdoin Avenue. So with concerns like these on our minds, I and a few other people put together a petition asking that the borough organize a task force on development and affordability at this moment when we're considering this project. Um, we believe such a task force could be organized by January with a report issued maybe in the summer. And our petition has been signed by close to 300 people so far, and we will present it to Borough Council at their next meeting. Finally, as you consider whether the current development proposal conforms to all our zoning ordinances, including ones addressing environmental and historical concerns, I hope you will think about capacity. Well, Rob talked about capacity, so I will just stop there. Thank you.